here, guys. So I want to, I wanted to go over something that's been on my mind. I've been following it for a little while, and it was regarding uh, earthquakes um, and the craton plates that make up the United States. So, um, you know, we've been having a lot of earthquakes, and there's been a lot of volcano activity. And I really started watching this since the Virginia quake, you know, because it, it, I thought there was something wrong with the quake happening in Virginia. So I found out shortly thereafter that we, the Virginia is actually on the edge of the North America craton and the deformed craton. Now, the North American craton is right here. It's the orange. Okay. You see how it just goes down. Now the deformed craton goes underneath it and extends to the very eastern edges of the United States, going up into New Brunswick, Canada. And then it also extends over here towards the west coast, swimming in Nevada, you know, into California a bit, up through Idaho. And the green here is the accretionary belt. And I want to start off with the accretionary belt. Um coming from the, the eastern part of the Pacific Rim, the accretionary belt is subducting underneath the deformed craton, which starts, which is all the way up here, the very edge of the North American craton, really just runs underneath. Comes down, cuts across through Texas under the NA craton, and then continues up through the uh, east, eastern seaboard of the Atlantic. Okay, so what we have here is a screenshot from um, the 18th of April regarding all of the earthquakes along the accretionary belt, which is subducting, mind you, underneath the deformed craton, within the past week from April 18th. Okay, so from the 11th to the 18th. All right, and we have these large, um, I believe they're like six point something quakes down here in Mexico. Um, we actually have a volcano erupting in Mexico as well. And so this is the accretion area, okay? And th this, is, as you see, these quakes fall exactly on the line of the accretionary belt, you know, going up through, uh, you know, not, or is Cuba, what is it? I forget it, I'm having a brain melt right now. And then down through South America, okay? So, that is pretty impressive, you know, or uh, impressive is not the right word, but it's a, uh, it looks like that's what the case is, okay? Now, where I really originally started was watching the North American craton. Like I said, right here you'll see a picture where I um, started plotting the quakes on Google Earth, okay, starting from the Virginia quake, and this picture was taken in about at end of September, 2011, okay, and I just plotted all the quakes that I could find using the epicenter coordinates from uh, the USGS.gov site, and then I just drew a line, you know, and connected the dots, and then the picture that kind of, that, that started to take shape was that of the North American craton, you know. This photo right here is um, from today, the 19th of April. And you can see that it still is drawing that line. You know, all these quakes are falling along the lines of the North American craton. Um, there's another one I want to cover, which is the deformed craton. Let me zoom in on this a bit. So hopefully you can see it. Alright. Now I just kind of piece some pictures together here to form the deformed craton. Because all we want to focus on is the purple here. Idaho. Okay. And as you see, from January 31st when I took this screenshot, because I was, again, following the North American craton, you can see that it's lining up, you know. We have the eastern edge 
you know, with this belt going underneath, subducting underneath the deformed craton, and then the deformed craton pushing on a North, uh, North American craton right here. So one is pushing the other, which is pushing the other, and, you know, I just kind of think of, you know, what happens when the rug is pulled off from underneath your feet? You know, you fall. And then here's from today, the 19th. Again, still drawing the lines very clearly along these uh, craton borders. As we know them. Now here's New, New Brunswick. All right, some news from uh, April 17th, New Brunswick, Canada. Town plagued for weeks by earthquake swarm, and no one knows why. Well, I'm telling you why. The craton plates are moving. They are right on the edge. New Brunswick, Canada. As you see right here, here's Maine. Here's New Brunswick. And if you can see there, right along the deformed craton edge. Okay? And there was a quake right in this area not a week ago. You know, as a matter of fact, I know it's on my Facebook page. I should have pulled up that picture. Now, there's one other very important thing I want to talk about regarding these quakes, because there's something that is uh, striking, you know, and leads me to another theory. And what you see here is a picture of all, and all the red are natural gas drilling wells. And what you see is that these wells, these, 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 these natural gas drilling wells, are creating an, uh, an outline of the North American craton as well. Which makes me think, you know, that it seems like natural gas is like a, natu is like a normal thing for it to do. It collects in those pockets of earth where the deformed craton and the North American craton meet, you know, like right at the edge of these little pockets form, uh, that's where it collects natural gas, you know, so naturally that's where, when, they when we find it, that's where people want to drill, but I think it would behoove us to maybe stop drilling in these areas until we explore this a little further, um, just because it seems that there's a lot of earthquakes happening in these areas as well. You know, now the North American Craton is on a, the uppermost crust. You know, that doesn't stop, you know, the eastern edge of the uh, Pacific Rim from subducting into the deformed Craton, but it sure doesn't help either. So, um, yeah, so right now, it's for me, it seems that everything's uh, moving, you know. Um, we're having uh, eruptions. Let's see where it is. This is what's currently erupting. All right. Let me try to zoom in. All right. Yellowstone, Yellowstone, right up here, is active. Right along. See, there's Idaho and Wyoming right along the deformed N.A. Craton line. That's exactly where Yellowstone is. It's active. It's a 2 out of 5. People have told me that's normal, so I'm going to go with, okay, that's normal. All right. But we have two other volcanoes. We have the one in Mexico. Um, don't get me lying trying to pronounce the name. Popocatepetl. You know, it's... Um, exp it's been erupting now for a couple of days, and then continuing down, we have uh, two more 
erupting right here. And that is, let's see here, let's see if I can get down here. Santa Maria, Santiago, and uh, Fuego, I guess, and Guatemala. Okay, so those are those two that are erupting. So I think that that's pretty. Pretty telling, you know. So I'd like to know what you guys think. If you can, leave a message or you can go to my Facebook page or my blog, conspiracychef.wordpress.com, and leave me a message there. Thanks.